trading fingerlings with uh who do you say a fan uh of my youtube channel okay so for the past couple of, uh for the past couple of is it weeks yeah weeks days i have been um looking at tilapia sickly now i have roughly about two dozen um tilapia singly um tip tilapia cichlid fingerlings right and i'll actually be selling them to a client uh it is not a usual thing i do but because i know that i, I have some fries coming on very shortly i decided to actually sell these now the difference between these and the ones that you would actually get at the the rather um agricultural you know the office is that these uh can be brood stock these can actually breed no um so i am actually selling this a little bit more than the ones that you would get at rather um typically because um you know rather is monosex so you won't be able to breed them these are not monosex these are both male and females how i know you can tell by the size but um you know by watching my channel uh, you probably could discover the male and the female now very shortly i'll be um you know handing them over yeah the bag look messy um they have been in the bag for about probably about uh three or uh, two uh, uh, probably about 20 30 minutes right um yeah so i'll be sharing thoughts with the gentleman in a bit stay tuned So basically, what made me interested in this? Well, when I was in the hospital, really, yeah, um, I was trying to imagine all sorts of jobs or stuff that I could do being one leg down. So yeah, I had to face the possibility of that happening. Uh -huh. um, there was this one unique um, patient in the hospital. He does spear fishing for a living. Okay, so. I usually do fishing with my father, always been intrigued and everything. Oh, we had a blast. So I really set my mind on it. So, how can I take a hobby like fish, goldfish, something like goldfish, make it a little bit profitable, you know, while enjoying the, the task? Yes, yes, yes. So, researching online, I found that you could actually farm fish. Didn't know that. Okay. Uh, that would be mainly tal talipia. Talipia. Yeah, yeah. Because talipia, it's. Yeah, yeah the easiest to start with yes i i, I would like to apologize for the the abrupt ending of ryan's um little piece regarding the you know his still up here experience going forward um as a result of technical glitch i kind of lost that about probably about 30 seconds worth of piece from ryan okay so what he was saying really was that he actually took the initiative in getting some training with regards to uh, tilapia fish breeding and care and he actually opted to contact me um, myself uh, fish keeping Jamaica rally um, with regards to sourcing some tilapia that he can actually use as future brood stock so as a result of that um, he has actually started his own little pond system outdoors is a little small in comparison to uh, probably what i have but i'm um, going forward he will actually expand his system uh ryan shared that he is practically inspired by my channel and other channels that have actually shared um you know intimate details as to how to go about um keeping fish both food fish and ornamental fish right um so you know this is just uh something that actually touches me um personally in the sense that you know i i i've been doing videos on fish keeping uh not knowing who i am reaching and you know he reached out to me on um in my email via instagram and you know you know um, we are able to actually communicate uh thank you very much guys for for stopping by i just had to share this with you 
Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Cool.